Hey is everyone, this is Absentian Nightmare continuing my playthrough of Alan Wake. After my uh, flailing around trying to dodge the bulldozer, I am back and continuing on my path away from the FBI guy and yeah, to, to try and find Alice. Some coffee. Uh, is there anything inside here? Would be nice. What's that? Is that me? Ooh. Ah, so I get to drive. Ah, can't go inside. else okay so let's continue that's cinematic I had never been this glad to see the sunrise I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Yep, and you have... You do not have the manuscript, do you? Uh, is there anything over here? Very stunning views. This engine is very well created, so I would... I would have loved to see more games made with this. Coal Mine Museum. Anything I need? Okay, can I get back in the car, actually? Yeah, I know, I'm wandering around right now. That always bothers me. In just about every game, characters just cannot run for any length of time. It's really annoying. I know it's supposed to bring out some sort of tension, but it's still... It's... Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yep, absolutely. Bro, oh, what is this? Huh. Anything I need over there, maybe? Looks like those logs just barely fell. Hmm. Keep on trying to look for any manuscripts or something. Oh, bridge is out. Nah, it's just sunlight. want to run up this way very quick see if there's anything important up here at the very top oh what's this oh this is the checkpoint huh Pat Main, and you're listening ah, to KBF FM. Folks, 
I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. <laughs> that guy is awesome. So, hmm. Nothing else here. I hope I didn't screw myself over by just leaving the truck back there. And I think I probably did. Because I'm gonna just loop right back around. Stop being so out of breath. Yep, there is the truck. Smart me. <laughs> okay, I'll get in the truck. No, I'll wander off this way. Says thing, if I wander too far and just kind of get sidetracked by a lot of other things, I could just always cut it out. Because I don't want to just have nothing but a video of me just wandering around into the freaking bushes. Okay, let's go. freaking hit. I hit absolutely nothing. I always find it invisible objects for absolutely no reason. Yes, there's a hill. <laughs> might be important. Checkpoint, definitely important. Another radio? Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about mm -hmm. life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or hmm. childish, even? <laughs> there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess well, that's a nice thought, but... As much as I want to listen to a radio station okay. in a now, game, well, I, and I continue on... I agree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel. What I, what I feel. 
is dinking around this whole time. Let's keep driving. Nice little reprieve from almost being killed by a bo bulldozer. And that looks like the coal mine. Yeah, I keep on stopping, but this looks like the coal mine, so I should be able to get in here, right? No, can't get in this way. Ooh, that sounds... Yeah. This sounds wonderful. Yes. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Oh, Mott. Could this be the guy that right now is the kidnapper? <coughs> oh. Tumble down the stairs. <laughs> That. So Mott is this guy's name. Well, at least my wandering got me something. Probably would have totally missed that. Screw visitor parking. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at. The volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Hmm. Volcanic activity. You don't mention something like that unless I'm going to run into it. While there was some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the, fa with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Ah, coffee. Probably not healthy, just like picking up random things of coffee. Don't know how long they were sitting there. I don't see any manuscripts. Speak of the devil. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah, the FBI agent was very, very zealous in wanting to shoot Wake here. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. What is that noise? It doesn't sound like creaking. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. 
I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Oh, that sucks. What? Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. Yep, Mirror Peak. Okay. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Wow, that made me totally jump. That was insane. Whew. Now where do I go from here? Down that way? What was that? Okay, I'm gonna go... Thermos, okay. Yes, need that. Oh yay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, full ammo there, so I think I'm set. Down into the mine shafts. <gasps> well, no, just out of here. Oh no. Read this really quick. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man. And without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Wow. Where... Things are not going to go well here. See you guys. Ah! Ow! Ah! Okay, I need to get better at dodging these guys. Whoa! Aha! Yes. Come on. There we go. I just noticed there's a propane tank there or something. That probably could have helped me. Those objects. 
I think there's another one around. Yeah, all right over here. Still wanting to twitch there. Ah, good. Flashbangs. Any other open spots? Maybe I can get some more items. Oh. Oh, you assholes. Faster, faster. Okay, okay. Anything else I can grab all around here? Nope. Okay. Continuing on. Manuscripts? Anything? Don't see anything? Okay. Whoa. What is that? Whoa! Okay. I don't know what the hell you are, but good job. very violent. Did I get it? I think I got it. Nice. <clears throat> uh, more objects to throw at me. Okay, flares. Work with this. What the hell? What the? Oh, what the hell is that? Um. What the hell is that? That was, yeah. Holy crap! The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh, yay. Electrocution. Best way to die. Okay, lots of things to blow up, so I could work with this. Oh, there you guys are. Okay. Let's try this again. It's time to let him bunch up. So freaking fun. Like hell. Rather not waste my ammo. Ooh. 
Ooh, miss me. Okay, flare gun, that's a good thing. I see you guys waiting out there. Uh, let's see, where am I going from here? See you guys just barely forming out there. Okay, nice. Now that's off. Fuck. Here comes the fun. that thing to explode. Dang it. <sighs> okay. Do this again. intense. Yeah, standing around fighting and something like that is not a good thing to do. I thought I heard footsteps up to the mine. Okay. I heard that. <laughs> Screw you! It's difficult to be able to maintain these, the flashlight as well as have my weapon ready. These enemies are difficult. Perfect. No revolver ammo, uh, shotgun ammo? Nah. 
I don't have any other manuscript pages. So there. Am I like totally missing any? Just wanted to be sure. I don't see any glowing bits, so that probably means that I haven't missed them yet, so I think I'm good. Okay, place to herd people. Floating barrels. Trust no one in the dark. Well, of course. Can't go that way. Okay, so I'm going up. Um, damn. Follow. Yeah, I'm hearing those footsteps. Those are not mine. Take a little break Some to read. Some have taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. That's enough to propel someone forward, I would think. Uh, very smart. Whoa. That is some devastation there. Okay, so... I think probably that way is where I'm going. I keep on hearing those footsteps, goddamn. What's that? Whoa. You all saw that tree, right? Perfect. Okay, I have one flashbang left, flare, and shotgun. Okay. Wow. What is this? There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Someone set them out. Whatever that goo is. Anything over this way? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, check my okay. I'd just rather not run into those things accidentally when I have to fight. There we go. 
Nope, I see you. Okay. There we go. Okay, you guys are hard. There you go. Alrighty. Flashbangs are handy. Oh, what's this? Manuscript, yes. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Raymond Chandler? Who's that? That what he's calling Alan Wake? Okay, gotta get through this. I can do it. Checkpoint, good, good, good. Damn birds. Whoa, whoa, where's that coming from? That means safe space, safe spot. Ah, there we go. Nothing in there. Okay, so I just gotta follow the yellow. There we go. So I wanna know what that breathing is. Okay, anything else I might like? Nope. Yeah, trust no one in the dark. Oh, you got to see up on me. Come on, come on. You sneaky bastards. So I thought I saw a weird graphic twitch, which means that one of these things is gonna pick up and throw at me. Grab some coffee over here. Ah, perfect. Woo! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I am walking on air right now. <laughs> okay. That was funny. Come on. You can do it, wake her. Okay. Okay, okay. No way, <gasps> you idiot. Hey, right, safe spot, safe spot. Alrighty, I think I am pretty good for this episode right now. And didn't get started until a little bit later on, but it's a good start. Continue on in the next episode to reach Mirror Peak. Thank you for watching. See you next time.